You know, there are two ways in which we can take the Lord's Supper. And Paul makes this plain as well. There are those who examine themselves before they take the supper and those who are judged for not examining themselves. See, those who examine themselves before partaking are the ones who are, Paul described, taking it in a worthy manner. We know that ultimately none of us are worthy in ourselves, of ourselves. To partake of the Lord's Supper. None of us are worthy to sit at his table. But to do so in a worthy manner is something we can all do if we examine ourselves and get ourselves right with him. Confessing our sin. Repenting of our sin. So when we confess our sins, the Bible tells us he's faithful and just to do what? To forgive us our sins. To cleanse us from all unrighteousness. To restore unto us a proper fellowship with himself. But those who, are, who do not examine themselves are, are, are inviting justice upon themselves. Those who choose to behave flippantly toward the church, toward the sacrifice of Christ, who don't take seriously the sin that's plaguing their lives, those who may be called by other Christians as merely Sunday Christians, those who may be called by those outside of the church as hypocrites, or as those who sit and soak and sour in the pews. Usually the ones who find fault in others at church. In everything about the church sometimes. The chronic complainers. Those who are not involved in daily Bible reading. Those that are separating themselves from God and his people. The ones who should reflect and repent before sitting at the Lord's table. 